Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you are all fine. In today's video we are going to make 20 watt amplifier. This amplifier will be very small, very little, but it will be very powerful for your uh, car application and indoor application. It has a very nice, very clear sound. Now I will going to show you everything step by step. You will very uh, understand very easily and after watching this video you can make your uh, own amplifier for your car or indoor uh, application. Now here is my uh, PCB. If you don't know how to make this kinds of PCB, there's a video on my channel. You will find the link over up over here, and uh, you can make this um, PCB. Uh, how you can learn how to make this PCB from that video. Now I'm going to show you the PCB and component layout. So when you look at the diagram, you are going to uh, learn everything you need: the names of the components, the list of the components, and the diagram of the components. Please look at the diagram very carefully and uh, there are not too much components and the diagram is very easy so of, uh, so according to this diagram you can make your own pcb like this and i am going to use a 2005 integrated unit one integrated unit and the other components now let's start to make our amplifier as i said it will be 20 watt and you can operate this amplifier with uh, 6 to uh, 20 volt so you can operate it with a battery or a power supply this amplifier and it is very uh, useful and powerful amplifier so let's start first of all first of all i am going to uh, put my integrated unit here and uh, solder everything every components on my pcb okay I put my integrate and now I'm going to solder. Now I am going to place the 220 ohm resistor just here, my friends, just here. As it is not very easy to find 1.1 ohm resistor, so instead of 1.1 ohm resistor, I'm going to just use uh, jumpers. I'm not going to use resistors. Two pieces of jumper, just copper wire. Now I'm going to place two uh, 100 nanofarad capacitor here, just one here and here. the other one now i am going to uh, 10 microfarad uh, capacitor positive and the negative pole Polarity is important for uh, electrolytic capacitor. Don't forget that, my friends. Now I will place a uh, 1000 picofarad uh, capacitor here. And 100 nanofarad. I'm going to use this piece of jumper here. The other uh, 100 nanofarad capacitor. Now the other 10 microfarad capacitor, polarity again is important, be careful about the polarity my friends. And the last 100 nanofarad capacitor, I'm going to use a ceramic capacitor.
now lastly i'm going to place my uh 1000 microfarad and 50 volt capacitor electrolytic capacitor the positive and the negative be careful about that my friends Okay, my friends, we finish our amplifier. Now it's time to connect the terminals for output, for input, and for the um, power supply input here. Okay, my friends, we completed our amplifier. As you see, it's very little, very small, very beautiful, but very powerful amplifier. Momentarily, we are going to test it. I want to add something. Uh, lastly, you have to uh, add a heat sink to the integrated unit in order to use uh, this amplifier. Otherwise, it, uh, it's going to get very hot uh, when you use the amplifier, so uh, it will broken down. So you have to add a heat sink to the integrated unit. Now, let's um, test our amplifier my friends i have my 12 volt uh, dc power supply and i have a speaker here turned on you see it's working very well Now let's play some kind of music and test again. Let's connect the input, my friends. It's very late time, so I am at home. I am not going to uh, turn on the music very loudly, but just for test, I am just going to uh, play with a very low voice, my friends. I hope you are going to understand me. Okay, so let's test it. Okay, my friends, as you see, our amplifier is working very well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourself, my friends. See you in the next videos.